Back when you take a look at the calendar, it says Black History Month is almost over. But as we've seen several times this week, Black History is still beaten written right now. So today we want to shine a light on a woman who is working all year round to introduce us to new voices and challenge perspectives one book at a time. Here's Kent. On a busy day inside Houston White's The Get Down Coffee, in North Minneapolis, an up-and-coming entrepreneur was stopping traffic outside. Congratulations! Oh, oh. You're opening up a black bookstore. I am, yes. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Where in St. Paul's? Uh, Midway. Oh, oh, the Midway. Yes, That's yes. That's cool. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I appreciate I'll be that. Ah, yes, please, please and do. I'm in a viral tweet nearly two years ago now, Dion Sims realized two things. Minnesota doesn't have a black owned bookstore. I think that's my new dream. And the rest is black history. The response was overwhelming. A GoFundMe campaign quickly topped $100,000, and that's when Dion made a strategic decision. For me, it was really important to just like, start out small. I started with my pop-up and that was a way for me to get all around the city doing events, getting to meet people, you know, getting the word out. What is it about those two words, black owned, that means so much to you? It's about being part of the conversation. It's about being able to have an effect on culture, having an effect on our neighborhoods in the ways that we already do as consumers. Well, the black dollar goes very far, but often that money is not going back into our communities in the ways that it deserves. And she put that belief into action by joining an online book drive in hopes of providing copies of Nicole Hannah-Jones' 1619 Project to a teacher at Patrick Henry High School. I told her, like, don't get your hopes up. I'm going to try my best to, like, get you a classroom set of books. But, you know, we'll just see how it goes. And um, how did it go? <laughs> It went really well. It went really, really well. We ended up with over 750 donations. Nicole Hannah-Jones herself shared the book drive. And now I've got almost 20 uh, middle school and high schools who will be receiving copies just from the book drive. And in light of recent racist incidents at Minnesota schools, she says they can't come soon enough. Our youth are already feeling the impacts of our decisions, our grandparents' decisions. And so it's important not to act like they aren't or that they're not ready to hear about our history and our past. And it's important that they know these things so that they're able to arm themselves with education and with knowledge and also with empathy and understanding and compassion. It feels like a crossroads. It feels like so much is coming to a head. We're reckoning with so much that I hope people don't get lost in the feeling of being overwhelmed by how much we're reckoning with right now. But I think that uh, one way to move out of that loneliness is through books. Amen to that. Dion says her dream will be fully realized later this summer when her first permanent location finally opens, like she said, in St. Paul. But in the meantime, she's going to have another pop-up this Sunday at Sanctuary Covenant Church in Minneapolis.